What's good everybody? So by now you're probably aware that the Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack has actually been leaked. And who was it leaked by? Well, I think the whole of the internet is in agreement that Anadis actually leaked the information around the expansion pack. Now at the point of me recording this video, the screenshots that I could see on um, Twitter is now gone. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. It's probably been redacted, I'm not sure. But anyway, so the screenshots in the initial post indicated some kind of ideas of what we're going to be experiencing and expecting. But one good thing is that the description around the pack is still in Anidus's original post. Also as well, there's been multiple articles and also Reddit feeds as well that are highlighting information around the post. So I will leave those links um, in the description below so you guys can check it out at your own leisure. But what I wanted to do in this video is like just get the basic information out there and also as well just theorize because I had some ideas on what other traits might be introduced or what other interactions might be introduced. This is me just saying hypotheticals. This isn't in me no way saying that I know. I'm just making hypothetical ideas about what else could be or what would be nice in this pack once it is released to us. So here's the things that we do know. Anadis released the leak um, and also as well that the actual pack, the Lovestruck expansion pack, can be pre-ordered from the 27th of June and it would actually be released on the 25th of July this year 2024. So that's what we are most confident in as people that are so interested in this. And also as well, based on the descriptions, there's four like key areas that the pack is going to introduce for us which is going to be better well it suggests it's going to have better it's going to increase our simming experiences our sims are going to have more diverse and dynamic experiences in their dating life based on it and the four areas is plan hot dates all about attraction for lovers of love date nights and unforgettable city and most of my theorizations are going to be based around those four points we're going to have different interactions and they're going to be more intimate interactions uh, where we can actually meet our sims can meet other matches and then also there's going to be the most of the interactions are going to be physical in nature from what i can see physical in terms of more intimate and probably more activities from what i could read from the descriptor for instance an example being um, a seductive dance for instance i think slow dancing was either in sims 4 i think slow dancing was in the wedding pack but i'm not 100 percent sure about that other things that are interesting that can be related to attraction and traits and socialization is our sims turn on and turn off traits those are actually very interesting because i don't know if who's watching this and how old you guys are but at the point that i saw turn off uh, turn ons and turn offs that was in sims 2 and that was fairly back in the day so i won't release my age but it's fairly back in the day but i remember that coming out in sims 2 and it's kind of nice to see that it's coming out in this it's going to come out in this pack again they're going to bring it back in this pack because I really like that uh, feature. Other new things that seem to be coming out as well with the pack is also a couple of objects. So like for instance, the plushie, apparently we're gonna have a plushie and also as well, there's gonna be like a breakup double bed as well. So I think there's probably gonna be more objects and that coming with the pack, but those are the kind of highlights that were highlighted in the descriptor. What I would love to see is if it's the same, if we get the same bed, if I can find the clip, I'll show you guys, but I think it's in Sims 1 or Sims 2, where it was like this massive, it was like this love heart shaped bed. If they could bring that back, that would be amazing. But yet again, this is just ideas. And also another thing we're going to see as well is a new neighbourhood. So apparently there's going to be three new neighbourhoods. And also we're going to have a social lot trait uh, specifically for singles as well. So that will be interesting. Anyway, if you have been if you have been actually researching this pack, this new leak, basically as much as I have, you're probably familiar with all the things that have been predicted or are being suggested to come out with this pack. So I'm not even going to get into it. But what I will do is actually get into my kind of ideas and hypothesis or theorizations, basically, or what we could have. So if we're looking at kind of like interactions we already have on The Sims 4, and that's without any kind of additional packs, you have like different kind of interactions in terms of like asking if your sim is single, um, pick up lines, you can also confess attraction, you can also find out about their personality, obviously you could flirt as well, that's been continuous throughout the whole game, um, then you've got different things like also offer roses, if you get far enough you can also massage, blow a kiss and each one like kind of unlocks another basically, obviously the famous woohoo, this is the stuff that's already here basically, like that's already in The Sims 4. 
So based on what we already have as interactions, I was starting to think about what other interactions could they possibly introduce? Maybe, apart from seductive dance, which they've, which they've already hinted to already, I was thinking that maybe based on each section, they could have different kind of interactions. Like for instance, in terms of the planning date, kind of aspect of the pack basically is it that you could serenade maybe maybe you could serenade the sim with like more than one person maybe you could get more people in on it more sims in on it to serenade that one love of your sims to life that would be awesome or maybe even if we're talking about like activities for instance is it like in this pack would they be introducing picnics because it did say that you could plan dates and activities as well which i was thinking okay that would be awesome if they could actually do like picnics outside like just as part of this pack not depending on other um, expansion packs or features outside of it also as well in relation to like date nights and in unforgettable city that section it also says that there's plenty of places for sims to meet flirt and even woohoo so i'm thinking like and also they said that there's a new singles hangout lot trait that will attract available sims to come and mingle so i'm thinking like could there be for instance like speed dating that would be an awesome like could you make it a lot that's like just for speed dating for instance and that would be like an awesome kind of um interaction activity for your sims as well then the other thing that i thought was interesting is their next section that says for lovers of love um because they said there's going to be a new career apparently hopefully there's a new career where it's a romance consultant so your sim could possibly become a romance consultant and make a career out of love i thought that was an interesting career but to be quite honest yeah i don't even know i'm guessing they won't bring that in but i would have loved love love to have seen if it was like a private investigator like a private relationship investigator which you could like like, I don't know, you could become an investigator, stalk other sims who are accused of their infidelity by their partner, for instance. That would could be like a gig or something instead of like actual full-time job. It could just be a gig. But I thought that would be cool, but I very much doubt they're gonna bring that in. But anyway, regardless of what we will or won't get in this pack, it seems like Love Struck is going to be a good expansion pack. I am actually looking forward to it, but I am definitely looking forward to this Love Struck expansion pack. And yeah, I can't wait to see it. Let me know are you guys gonna pre-order it are you going to wait till it comes out and just buy it also do you have any theories do you think there's gonna be any other interactions that we could see that they haven't mentioned in this but anyway if you got to the end of this video thank you so much like and subscribe let me know what you think below let me know your thoughts are you even gonna get it and i'm gonna see you in the next video happy simming as always and i'll speak to you in a bit bye